Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos. Before going to today's topic, let me minimize my recording window. I am going to start a new video series on building a Apache Spark project okay, for doing a real-time stream processing, which means you would have heard about the meetup.com. Okay, it's a it's a it's a platform where different groups, technology groups, or it can be a, a real estate group or it can be a, a movies group different groups put their event details in the meetup.com okay and uh, uh, people members from those groups can go and uh, uh, reply that uh, event whether you are coming or not like the rsvp which is called uh, please reply okay so they they do the uh, reply saying that they may come by uh, they can say yes if they are going to uh, attend that event or they say they can say no because if they don't go to attend or maybe so three three scenario may be there, there right so uh, meetup meetup meetup.com okay what it does is uh, whatever the uh, rsv people doing right so whether they are saying yes or no or maybe so those details for different events in different groups they are actually getting that uh, 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 rsv uh, uh, messages and they are publishing uh, in real time as a stream uh, data to the outside world which is a public okay you can go and uh, get this uh, stream data the publicly available data okay you can do some analysis using that okay so what we are going to do is i am i took the scenario where you actually go and get that stream data okay they actually provide a api rest api where it, it keep on uh, uh, sending the json messages okay so the rsvp uh, messages in json format okay so in real time okay it's as a stream data okay let me show you the data okay before uh, uh, explaining the architecture okay so uh, this is the meetup.com uh, uh, people would have more people would have seen it right already so uh, this is the uh, the rsv uh, the stream data uh, for your rsvps okay if you hit this on your browser you might see uh, data is coming okay it's a json format it will keep on coming okay so this is the stream data i'm going to get the stream data okay and i'm going to process using a apache spark ecosystem components okay so let me explain let me stop this and explain you the architecture okay how i'm going to build it Okay, this is the architecture diagram okay so we are going to uh, get the stream data which is from the meetup.com okay so we are going to write a kafka producer uh, because we want actually have a, a messaging layer or a kind of uh, uh, intermediate buffer okay which can store your uh, uh, json messages uh, the rsv rsvp json messages from meetup.com into the kafka okay then from kafka we want to consume using a spark structure streaming okay then we can do the uh, the processing the stream processing okay so why i am introduced the messaging layer is basically uh, to to have a kind of a, a persistence layer it's a thin persistence layer okay so uh, it can available for a certain period of uh, duration okay you can set it okay so this uh, uh, kafka is mainly used for distributed messaging system okay now in the once you receives the uh, uh, the json message from your kafka broker okay so uh, people if you are not aware of apache kafka i have a separate uh, playlist uh, or video series you can go and watch okay uh, uh, to get more tech more, more knowledge on it okay so once you receive the uh, uh, the rsvp message okay so what i am going to do is i am going to do uh, some uh, aggregation or processing on it okay so, uh, i'll do the some uh, transformation okay first you need to parse the data json format because the structure is, uh, uh, is different if you look at the uh, json structure so this is the json structure okay this is the one rsvp message okay let me show you in the uh, json formatter okay this is json message then you will have a, a venue for your event okay in the venue it says uh, venue name uh, uh, longitude and latitude and the venue id okay then you have a uh, another root field or the main field which says visibility is for public or private kind of thing and this is a response this is the rsv vp uh, whether people are coming uh, they're saying yes or no or maybe 
that field is this we are interested on this field as well as guest how many people are coming uh, with the person who is responding okay and the member details the member name and other stuff and rsvp id and what time they have done uh, done this uh, um, uh, response and event details which event actually they are going to host it on uh, on the uh, on the particular uh, day okay so and this is the group okay group uh, uh, topics they what are the different topics uh, they are discussing on that particular group then the group this so the group details you will have group topics so basically this this group is uh, uh, which will have uh, this this uh, uh, group field will have sub fields okay or you can have a nested field you can say so it has uh, uh, the group uh, what is the group name okay and uh, the group is uh, from which country city and state other details are there and also as well as the latitude and longitude this is uh, from us uh, uh, pa pennsylvania i guess okay uh, so this is the uh, this is the json message the rsvp message which is coming in a uh, uh, real time as a stream message using uh, uh, this ap you can get that uh, stream message so what we are going to do is once you get that uh, uh, stream message we are going to push it uh, so we are going to write a kafka producer uh, which will actually take the uh, from the uh, stream api meetup stream api it will take the message and it will publish it to the uh, kafka broker so uh, kafka broker on a particular topic okay so i have a, a, a meetup rsvp uh, topic okay so in the topic okay i am going to consume okay using a spark structure streaming so once you consume so i am i can do one thing i can do the processing and push it to the some uh, uh, storage layer or wherever you want some uh, target location or uh, target location or sync you call it as okay right so uh, process data i am going to push it into my sql database and the raw data i am going to do uh, push it to the or save it to the mongo db mongo db is another no sql database it's a documentary oriented no sql database why i choose uh, mongo db is basically it's a, a, a json uh, format right the 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 rsvp message it is also nested uh, uh, document you can say so the same uh, document i i can i can flatten or i can store directly into the mongo db uh, i have for simplicity sake i actually uh, uh, flatten the um, json structure i will show you how i did it i stored the raw data in the mongo db and the process data in mysql okay so this uh, project i am going to uh, do it using the scala uh, programming language so we are going to use a apache spark as a uh, distributed processing engine okay so uh, structure streaming is the advanced version of your spark streaming spark streaming, streaming is basically uh, based on uh, uh, d streams uh, but the uh, uh, latest version of uh, spark structure streaming is based on the data frame operation okay it's you can you can say it's a unbounded uh, data frame which is coming you can do lot of processing on it in real time okay so then uh, the finally we are going to build the dashboard okay real time dashboard uh, using a uh, python dash uh, uh, python uh, it's a python package okay which is uh, uh, developed by uh, plotly company called plotly okay so it is going to uh, make use of the uh, flask uh, python web framework flask as well as the plotly the visualization package okay with that i am going to build the uh, visualization tool so uh, i hope this video will be helpful and this project will be helpful i am going to publish this uh, source code also uh, in my blog you can you can follow my uh, blog okay so uh, to iterate uh, uh, the uh, the overall architecture so uh, meetup.com is a, a, a platform where uh, uh, people can go and create a groups and they can host the different events so and uh, once they host the event they will put the details so if people who want to go and attend the meetups they can actually uh, the event uh, meetup they can go and say uh, uh, whether they are uh, uh, they are planning to attend the meeting or no or maybe that's the called as rsvp uh, so that that rsvp messages meetup.com is hosting uh, or uh, uh, putting in publicly available as a stream uh, api so we are going to consume that message using a kafka uh, api okay so then we are going to actually publish that uh, 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 rsvp json message into kafka topic then uh, we are going to write a, a spark section streaming application which will consume the rsvp message and do some processing and store it in a mysql and raw data into mongodb 
and then we are going to uh, build the dashboard using a python dash uh, package and uh, cons uh, take the data from mysql and uh, put it as a chart we'll we'll do uh, different charts uh, uh, using those process data okay that's all overall architecture uh, uh, see in the next video uh, uh, to tell you or uh, explain you how to set up the environment for this okay thank you so much friends uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos